Item number SCP-1352 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1352's enclosure is located in an isolated valley in Nevada and is equipped with storm shelters. The entity is permitted to wander around the premises of the enclosure under the supervision of at least one security guard. The enclosure is 5 km squared, and the perimeter fencing must be rooted 10 meters into the ground to prevent dislodging. Debris must be made available within the enclosure for the entity to interact with. Personnel entering the enclosure must acquire authorization from the site director. Proper protective equipment must be worn by personnel within the enclosure at all times. Should the entity attempt to leave the enclosure, guards or personnel are to use verbal commands to prevent it from breaching containment. SCP-1352 is a sentient dust devil, with a behavior similar to those of domesticated pet animals. Anemometer readings indicate wind speeds of at least 60 km per hour, but they shift with the mood of the entity. SCP-1352 has a preference for interacting with humans, and carries small debris with it for this purpose. After interacting with people, the funnel will shrink to 3 meters in height, and the entity will attempt to surround a person as a sign of happiness. If excited, wind speeds and funnel side rapidly shift between the 60 and 100 km per hour parameters. In an angered state, the funnel grows to proportions similar to those of F-5 tornadoes. The entity will then attack with debris thrown at speeds in excess of 300 km per hour. If SCP-1352 is not capable of interacting with people, it will either coerce people into interaction through various methods, or entertain itself. SCP-1352 has displayed signs of intelligent behavior. It has the ability to manipulate the wind it generates to pick up and place items weighing up to 500 kg with precision. This also affects the funnel size. The entity has also been shown to respond to verbal commands. The researchers have discovered that it understood words such as stay, go, come here, and fetch, allowing easier containment methods. Testing of SCP-1352 has continued and currently the entity can perform more complex tasks such as arranging objects into specific patterns such as shapes and solving simple problems such as matching objects. Addendum: Debriefing with Agent after capture of SCP-1352 Interviewed Agent Interviewer Doctor Begin Log Please recall how you captured SCP-1352. My pleasure, but I wouldn't exactly call it capture. Anywho, after they called us in, we tracked the sucker to the coast. There we found him wandering around picking up some trash on the beaches. I'm not sure why, guess he was bored. How did you approach it? Well at first we surrounded him. This only aggravated him and he started to grow in size. The wind was really picking up so we backed away. We weren't able to call for backup, it was causing some sort of radio interference. He just stayed at that spot trying to suck us in. Agent got sucked up and was thrown several feet away. How hurt was he? His back was broken. I couldn't go to him cause the twister was right over my head. I thought I was gonna die. Then the wind died down, and I saw the twister was getting smaller. Next thing I know it tossed this piece of wood next to me. Okay then, in what manner did you react to that situation? Drinks from a glass of water. At first I was just lying on the sand, wondering why this thing didn't kill me. The twister was moving side to side like he was waiting for something. I put my hand on the wood, and it started moving faster and faster. I picked it up and he grew taller. He was getting really excited on the chunk of wood, so I threw it away from us, and he wasted no time fetching it. Anyways, we went to our teammate and called for a med team. We stopped when the twister tossed the same hunk of wood at me and was just sitting several feet away. Lead agent said to me, I think this twister wants to play fetch with you. I thought it was crazy at first, since it virtually crippled. He's not attacking us right now, and besides, I'd rather have him calm now than angry, he said. All the while it was just sitting there waiting for me to throw the wood again. So how did you contain it? We just played fetch until the recovery team showed up. Besides, bullets can't do shit on him, so why bother? In the end, we managed to lure it into the holding container, but someone had to stay with them or else he'd get all mopey and make another ruckus. We ended up drawing straws and Agent drew the short one. I'd have to admit, that was my favorite. We still visit him now and then, and he even said sorry to Agent.
Thank you for your time. Addendum. Communication attempt. On the morning of… Field researchers discovered a large debris formation created by SCP-1352. The pattern was too large to be seen from ground level, requiring the use of an unmanned aerial vehicle. At 300 meters, the pattern was revealed to be the word H-E-L-O. Subsequently, the director has authorized further communication experiments with SCP-1352.